Have you ever wondered why North Korea hates us? Because they really hate us. They hate us to our bones. North Korean children are taught from an early age to hate America. For example, on a popular North Korean kids show, the cruel and evil American wolves torment innocent North Korean woodland creatures. And every year, the country recognizes June as the Struggle Against U.S. Imperialism Month. See, right after World War II and right before the Vietnam War, there was a little thing called the Korean War, also nicknamed the Forgotten War. But the North Koreans have not forgotten it. Not even close. In 1945, after the Allies' World War II victory, the United States divided the Korean Peninsula along the 38th parallel. Previously, it had been occupied by Japan. The Soviet Union eventually agreed to this division in 1948, bashing the North, while the U.S. supported the South, all of which was meant to serve as a temporary measure. The Soviets installed a man named Kim Il-sung to lead the new nation. Two years later, on June 25, 1950, despite what is taught in North Korea today, Kim invaded his neighbor in an attempt to unify the whole region under his command. And he almost did it. That is until General Douglas MacArthur and the United Nations military forces showed up. Though only three years long, the Korean War was catastrophic. Three million people were killed. The head of the Strategic Air Command during the Korean War said the U.S. killed off 20% of the population. The shelling of North Korea was beyond reason. To put this into perspective, the U.S. dropped 503,000 tons of bombs throughout the entirety of the Pacific Theater in World War II. During the Korean War, we dropped 635,000. We destroyed everything. Army Colonel and future Secretary of State Dean Rusk admitted that the U.S. bombed, quote, every brick standing on top of another brick. While South Korea suffered greatly, North Korea was decimated. When the Air Force ran out of targets, it started destroying irrigation dams and farmlands. LeMay said, quote, We went over there and fought the war and eventually burned down every town in North Korea. Though the Korean War concluded in an armistice, a peace treaty was never signed. So technically, the North and the South are still at war. The horror and destruction of those three years have left a resounding impact on North Korea's citizens. And the government is determined to keep hatred of the U.S. fresh on their people's minds. The country's constitution states that, quote, National defense is the supreme duty and honor of citizens. And when society is dictated by a military first, or sungan policy, you need a constant enemy to point at. And for them, it's us. So when the President of the United States threatens them with fire and fury and destruction like the world has never seen before, he's playing right into the narrative that North Koreans have been fed about the U.S. their whole lives. And it can only lead to tragedy.